Hi, this is Mass Rundown. If you enjoy movie reviews and trailer reactions, you're at the right place. So why not subscribe and hit the like button down below. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Tom and Jerry movie. Tom and Jerry is a 2021 live action computer animated comedy film based on the cartoon characters Tom and Jerry, starring Chloe Grace Moretz and Michael Penner. Essentially, the story follows the classic Tom and Jerry run around and chaos that comes with them, but it's centered around a hotel and very specifically a wedding that's about to happen in this hotel. It's a huge wedding of two very rich and famous people, so it's really over the top. And the main character, Kayla, gets a job at the hotel just before the wedding, and she actually ends up planning a lot of this wedding and trying to get Tom and Jerry to get along in order for them not to make a wreck out of everything. Looking at the good, this movie does the animation, live action mix very well. Tom and Jerry really do interact with the world. The actors do seem to be influenced by them. They just like, scratch them on the heads and that, pick them up. So yes, that was done pretty well. And the colours were also really nice. It was bright and vibrant. And that's the only things I could think of were good. So that takes us to the bad. Looking at the bad, Tom and Jerry, for being their own movie, felt like very side characters. Not sure why the choice was to make them side characters, but the focus was on the hotel. It was on the hotel staff, it was on the wedding. And then we kind of had an episode of Tom and Jerry weaved into that story. So kind of a Tom and Jerry movie, kind of a not. <laughs> So it was really disappointing for me in particular, I don't know, for you and everyone else, but I wanted to watch Tom and Jerry. I didn't want a generic movie. With Tom and Jerry, like, making appearances every night. Yes. Yeah. So I went to watch the movie to watch Tom and Jerry. I didn't know what I actually expected. I just don't think I expected this. And then... We watched the trailer really recently, so it's still fresh in my mind. There's a scene at the beginning of the trailer where it kind of gives context to everything. Where Tom and Jerry are leaving, they're splitting up and they're going to New York separately. And like the movie shows none of that. That scene's not in the movie. There's no... They're just suddenly in New York and now we have this adventure that they're having. I'm not saying we needed a big backstory. Just why was it in the trailer? <laughs> kind of weird. And the worst thing is that the humor wasn't even funny. It was mostly this awkward humor where people were just talking and standing around. And it was just awkward and weird. Yeah. And the jokes were once again fart and poop jokes. And I kind of feel like by now we can move past that. or still have that, especially for the younger audience. But add some extra stuff in. I don't think that appeals to everyone. And it's sad because it's a really funny cast. They've got some great actors in there, some actors who can do some really funny stuff. And everything fell flat. Tom and Jerry were the only funny characters in there. And even that was like, not enough. Because they were on screen for a few minutes here and there. And there was like 10 minutes of boring stuff. And then Tom and Jerry every now and then. Mm. I don't think I laughed once during the whole entire movie. I'm not surprised, though, that I didn't like it, because when I saw the trailer, I was so disappointed. I suspected I wouldn't like it. So overall, maybe young kids would enjoy this movie, but pretty young kids. And it's not really made for the parents, so if you're going to watch it, stream it rather, throw the kids in front of the TV, and go watch something else or go do something else, because you're not going to enjoy this. Even though it's got nostalgia in it, it's not enough to make it a good movie to watch. And then even then, I'm not sure if this is the best movie for kids either, because the message isn't great in it. The message is you lie, be a horrible person, and at the end of the day, you'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because she gets the job in the hotel because she lied about her resume. She lied about who she is. She lies constantly throughout the movie. And yet she still keeps her job and everything is hunky and dory, so you can be deceitful and not a great person and still get everything you want not sure i'd want my kids watching people and saying oh i don't need to be honest i don't need to work hard i'll just get what i want because i lie so i'd rather watch a pixar movie i think definitely rather watch a pixar movie it will leave a better long-term impression on children in general 
and at least it will reflect morals and values that most of society actually appreciates. Because people think movies don't influence kids, but they, they do. do. Of course they do. I'm not saying to the level of violence and stuff that people claim with video games, but it does leave an impression. And every impression matters, and this one is lying and stealing is good. Because it's so mixed with reality, it's even more impressionable, because it looks like real life. Yeah. In a lot of ways. So for ratings, I'm going to give it a three. And I'll give it a three also, purely because of the animation. And just in terms of who's going to watch it, like William said, small children. If you were very nostalgic about this, I suspect you will be disappointed. Yes. There may be the odd person here and there who enjoys it, but in general, I was so bored during the movie. I really wished we had sped through the movie at like 1.5 or 2 speed, the whole movie. (laughs) Because I felt like it was a huge waste of time. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you remember Jerry being such a horrible, horrible creature? Yes, because when I was a kid, I really remember voting for Jerry and rooting for him all the time. And now that I'm watching the movie, I'm like, he's awful. I'm rooting for Tom. (laughs) Yeah, I was rooting for Tom the whole movie. It was weird. It felt wrong. Yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Later. Later.